Welcome back to my channel. So it's been over a year, actually like probably close to two years since I uploaded my initial Rothy's unboxing and review. It was the very first pair of Rothy's that I ever purchased. And my intention in that video, I'll link it up above, was to do a five or seven day wear test that turned out to be a 30 day wear test because I wanted to put those suckers through their paces. But since then, I've had so many of you guys ask me questions pertaining to how I still felt about my Rothy's, you know, a year or so after the fact. Do they wash well? Do they still wear well? Did they end up bothering my feet? Like, what's the deal with my Rothy's? So this is gonna be a follow-up to that video to kinda answer all of those questions. Now, this pair here was the first pair that I purchased that I featured in that video I just mentioned. And at the time, I was like, I want to get a neutral because I want to be able to wear these shoes with everything, but I didn't want black, you know what I mean? Just because it just felt like black was kind of boring. So I saw this bird's eye gray tone and fell in love. Full disclaimer, as I said, this is the pair that I initially bought with my own money, but then using the Rothy's referral program, which is amazing, that's how I was able to get all these other pairs of shoes because I gotta tell you, like, if I had to pay just retail out of pocket, I most certainly would not have purchased <laughs> this many pairs of Rothy's because these shoes are not cheap. These are what I would call an investment pair of shoes. So I also created a video just talking about like how you can also take advantage of Rothy's referral program. As soon as you buy a pair of Rothy's, they give you as the consumer a referral code that you can hand out to everybody. So in that video, you'll see that it actually is really realistic for you to be able to buy your initial pair and then from there at least get one pair free thanks to those referral codes that you've handed out. So like I said, the two pairs that I wore the most are actually this pair that I just had in my hands. This is their Big Cat Leopard print, you guys. Oh, I love this print. It is like the best neutral print to just punch up any outfit. And when they came out with their Merino wool line, I was super intrigued. Plus, I always wanted a pair of nude Rothy's, so I snatched these up as well. So this nude pair and then also this leopard print pair, by far and large, are the two I just wore the heck out of. So again, these are the two I'm gonna be focusing on the most. So on a normal pair of Rothy's, like this pair here, they come with this rubberized sole, which is great because it's a darker color, so it doesn't show any scuffing. It doesn't even scuff because it is rubber and it stays intact really well. Versus for whatever reason, when they came out with their Merino wool line, which again is this nude pair and also this black pair, they flipped to this nude colored sole, which you see just gets like so scraped up and gross over time. I don't know why they did that. So that's my only beef and kind of like word of caution going forward. If you're thinking about, should I get a Merino wool pair of Rothy's or a traditional pair that's made from the plastic water bottles, because there's a significant difference in the type of sole that you get. Also, this sole on the Merino wool pair does not have any traction <laughs> whatsoever. So if you're like me and you tend to like slip slide through your day, keep that in mind. One of the biggest questions I have gotten has been, have your Rothy's held up? Yes, absolutely. They've held up really well. And again, both these pairs, you guys, I've washed the heck out of these. I'm constantly <laughs> washing my Rothy's. To me, that was part of the appeal of spending that much money on a pair of shoes. And to me, I was able to justify again that initial purchase because I was thinking, well, if I can wash them whenever I want to, it's like getting a brand new pair of shoes <laughs> every single time. And I love that because I can't stand having schmutzy shoes. Like honestly, my normal shoes just get so schmutzy. Like especially the insoles, they get dirty. They get kind of like just murky and gummy and gross i cannot stand it so the fact that i can like throw these suckers in the wash anytime i want to is just like magic for me 
Now, I have seen a couple videos online just saying like, eh, they don't really wash as perfectly as you would think they would. And I would say that there definitely is truth to that. So here's the deal. And I'm gonna show you a clip of me actually washing my Rothy's um, in a couple minutes. So you'll get to see like firsthand what they look like going into the wash, because they're dirty as heck, and what they look like coming out. I will say that like washing your Rothy's is not like this magical process where you just throw them in and they come out like brand spank and clean. What I found is they do require a little bit of TLC at times when they're especially dirty. So what I found is whether it's dirt on the insole or just like a stain on the outside of the shoe, I just take a little bit of Dawn, a toothbrush, soak that up in some water and then kind of like give it a good scrub before I put it into the wash or honestly you can even do it like after you take it out of the wash and it works like a charm. Okay, so here's that process, and these are the three pairs I've been wearing like crazy lately, and I've waited a long time <laughs> to wash them so I could show you guys like how dirty they were, disgusting, particularly the insoles, like literally, this is so gross. This is why I love Rothy's, because I can scrub these clean. So just separate the insoles from the shoes and you can use any laundry detergent. I was actually gifted these laundry strips from True Earth. These are so freaking cool. I love these things. They're biodegradable and cruelty-free too. There's a discount code down below if you want to check them out. But then from there, it's literally just a matter of throwing your shoes into the laundry. I tend to wash them with clothes, but it just so happens I had already done all of our clothes, which is why I'm washing them separately. So then you just wanna put it on the delicate cycle and of course, cold wash. Water, and this is about halfway through the cycle and you can see they're getting nice and sudsy but they're not going to come out like I said brand spanking clean it's going to take some doing so once that cycle is through the first thing I do is pull out the insoles and you'll see like after being washed those suckers are not clean so I take a little bit of Dawn dishwashing soap put it in a container and use a tooth toothbrush to scrub those suckers clean. And honestly, it does not take long for the Dawn to lift all that dirt and grime out of these insoles. It is incredible. <laughs> And here's the big reveal. The one on the left-hand side is the insole I just scrubbed and the one on the right-hand side just came out of the washing machine and that's what it looks like as is without scrubbing. So again, I just kind of go through and scrub each of my insoles and you can get totally crazy and be here all day <laughs> if you wanna get every last bit of dirt out. And then it's just a matter of lining them all up to air dry and typically my shoes take about eh, like a day or two to be fully dry. Oh, what else did you guys want to know? Oh, oh my gosh, this, oh, okay. I got this question so often and it had to do whether or not <laughs> my Rothy's smelled after I wore them. And to be honest with you, 99% of the time, no, there was never any issue with weird odors, um, nothing except for this pair it was bizarre the original insole to these were a leopard print that matched the exterior print of these shoes but as you can see i now have a black pair and that's because i had to buy an extra pair of insoles to replace the original pair in this leopard print because you guys the original insole for these shoes literally would stink to high heaven <laughs> it would smell so bad which was bizarre because I'd literally like wear them for five minutes and I could clear out a room. That's how bad they stunk. I would wash them, I'd air dry them just like I did every other pair and I could not get these shoes to stop smelling. So I ended up throwing away the original insoles and again, I bought this replacement pair which I think was like $10 or something nominal, and I haven't had a problem since. So I'm just going to assume that it was like some crazy fluky thing that happened with this pair, because again, nothing like that ever happened with any other pair. Okay, so the other question I'm asked a lot is, are they gonna hurt my feet? Now, here's what I will say. I think the break-in period for Rothy's is going to be different for everybody. Again, in my first Rothy's review, when I wore this pair for 30 days, like I showed in the video that these suckers were tearing up my feet. <laughs> like I literally had blisters out the wazoo on my toes and the back of my heel. 
it was not pretty. So I would say like in my case, probably with each pair, for the first three to four days of wearing them, yes, I got blisters every single time. After that, no issues whatsoever. In fact, these shoes, like all of them, just conform beautifully to your foot. Like it's this magical process <laughs> that just happens over time. But again, through like consistent wear and washing, they just eventually form beautifully to your foot and they feel like a slipper. Like I literally don't even feel like I'm wearing anything at this point. Um, in terms of my higher arch, I did not have a problem with any of my Rothy's. Like I said, bothering my back, my knees, my feet, nothing. Which I was kind of surprised about because historically, I've never been like a flat shoe girl. <laughs> I've always liked a heel. So this was like my first toe dip into the world of flat shoes and I was pretty impressed. So what I would recommend is when you get a pair of Rothy's, they actually come now with a film on the bottom of the shoe. So keep that film on, be careful, it's very slippery. <laughs> If you have like hardwood floors, you might be sliding all over the place. But what's nice about that film on the sole is that you can clomp around in your house for like a day or two to see if they're gonna give your foot any problems. And then if they do, you can just return them. The other thing is definitely people wanna know how these shoes hold up, you know, after going through the wash. Are they fraying? Are they coming unraveled? <laughs> are like the soles coming apart from the shoes? And honestly, no, like I said, Admittedly, these other pairs, I haven't worn as much as these two neutrals here. And when I say I've washed the heck out of these, I've washed the heck out of these shoes. And they held up beautifully. I mean, there's no fraying, they're not falling apart, they're not unraveling, they're not doing anything you would not want them to do. So I think that is it. You know, again, if you guys have any questions that I did not touch on on this video, by all means, leave me a comment down below. I would be happy to answer any other questions you might have. Now, if you're interested in trying a pair of Rothy's for yourself, I do have a referral code down below. It'll kick 20 bucks off your first order. And as a courtesy, the company will also provide me with a $20 credit to use on a future purchase of my own. I tend to focus on their point style of shoe, but they have a ton of different toe shapes at this point. They've got a round toe, they've got a square toe, they've got a Chelsea boot, they've got sneakers. They literally have so many different styles, even beyond shoes, getting into things like purses and bags and this and that. Like there are a ton of things <laughs> that this company is coming out with and everything they come out with is washable, which is awesome. But in any event, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.